Okay, quick little video here. It's not working out. I'm going to talk about a problem I discovered I have and what I'm going to try to do to, uh, to fix it. So I've noticed um, in following barefoot burpees and in my rings journey, um, I've been wanting to get the forward roll. And uh, whenever I have practiced it in the past, I'll generally only be able to do one roll. And uh, just doing that one roll like knocks me for a loop. I get dizzy and weird feeling after doing it. You know, I figured maybe I wasn't controlling well enough, and I'm not. Um, but, you know, it wasn't something I, I really thought about too much and was really worried about. It prevented me from practicing it, you know, more than once. But it didn't sit heavy on my mind. Anyways, yesterday I had Kali class. We're working on uh, empty hands, grappling, throws, and stuff. And uh, we're working on this throw where you basically you flip. So uh, my partner and I are doing it to each other. And every time he does the throw to me, I'm just feeling worse and worse. And after about, I don't know, six times, I was, I was going to puke. I was pouring cold sweat. I was going to pearl. Felt absolutely horrible. Felt like I was going to literally die on the mat. Just dizzy. It was crazy. So I know it's, you know, some sort of vertigo thing or whatever. So I, you know, start looking shit up and, you know, turns out this isn't that unnormal. And I was a kid who was very active, did gymnastics and shit when I was really little and stayed in martial arts. So love roller coasters and stuff like that. So it's really weird for me to get dizzy flipping upside down. Um, so looked it up on the internet and basically what it says is, Hey, you're getting old. You should practice the, the motion more often and then it won't bother you. So I guess that's what I have to do. I'm going to start doing somersaults and uh, cartwheels and stuff again, seeing if I can't get over um, the uh, instant vertigo I get from going head over heels, um, work on it on the rings. Um, but yeah, if that's what's going on with me. That's my big problem. I figured out I can't go upside down. Not true. I can go upside down. If I have control, it doesn't bother me. You know, like doing a, a skin the cat, even though I don't go fully upside down that well. Having control over it is fine. It's the whipping motion of doing it quickly like on the rings or anything else. So anyways, well, might as well do some, uh, some somersaults while I'm out here. Do some cartwheels and uh, see how it affects me. Um, if any of you guys have any uh, input or have been through anything like this, uh, let me know. I'm going to try to do uh, cartwheels and somersaults and shit like that every day and uh, see how it pans out. I was going to do them on camera, but now nah, I'm not now. <laughs> okay, take care, everybody.